Hey guys, I um on this one the customer said the um fan will not shut off even when they turn the air conditioner off the fan will not shut off and I just looked at the thermostat and it looks like it's set to auto so um let's go in and see what's going on. System off and fan on auto. And as y'all can hear, it's still blowing. Okay, over there is my blower relay. So first I'm gonna check to see if it's getting 24 volts on my green. Okay, I was not getting 24 volts and just that little bit of movement when my my leads here caused it to turn off so um sounds and looks very much like it was a stuck relay let me see exactly what we got here we have mm, Two pole single throw. All right, let's uh, let's go see what we got. If nothing else, I can use a ninety three forty. we can use these if we want to so it's um single pole double throw but yeah we can use that if we want to i'll just have to maybe cap off one wire but that's what we got and i prefer to go back with what we got My relay is back there. 
Let me see what fan speeds we're using. It looks like black and yellow. Mm -hmm. All right, black is going to be for fan and AC, and that yellow is going to be for electric heat. <laughs> and um, I'll try to explain that when I'm hooking that up. So even if you take all the wires off, you can still hook it back up like you want. All right, your blower or every single phase motor has to have two power sources. Um, well, two legs of power. And on this, this goes directly to the motor. If y'all can see it going up there, this one has power 24 seven. And this relay breaks power to either of these legs right here to bring on the blower. You can't have both legs energized at one time. That's why it's set up the way it is. I just disconnected low voltage. Let me see what we got holding it in. Looks like a Phillips. really can't see what I'm doing. I just know where the screw is and there we go. All right, the two these two speeds right here black and yellow, those are two um fan speeds high and what is probably medium low. I'm going to disconnect those. All right, that allows me to pull it out. And I thought I would explain where these power sources come from. The other leg of power for the blower motor. This one on top, which is normally open, that one is going to have power 24 7. So that goes all the way back to right here. And if you follow the other leg that's hooked up to that, it goes right to the breaker. So that has 24 power 24 7. And, um, that top sequencer doesn't just bring on the heat. If you look on the other side, all right, that goes to a, that goes to your heat, your um, heat strips. It also has this blue wire right here. And this blue wire goes over here to your relay that one is normally closed so when this energizes when you have a call on white for your electric heat 
this closes it doesn't just send power to the heat strip it sends power to this and this is normally closed and it will send power to your blower that one in and the other one don't line up <clears throat> all right let's hook our speeds back up on top mm. all right got that one this yellow goes this is hard to show because of this line set in the way mm. all right wired up just the way it was blower should not come on there's no kind of time delay on this blower so let's Turn it off and on at thermostat, cycle it a few times, and see how it does. I think we're good. Let's see if we can squeeze a 20 by 20 in that door better than it was and it could use a 16 by 20 that I don't have right now <laughs> all right y'all are all set All right, guys, so that one turned out pretty good. Um, a stuck sequencer can also cause the blower to run constantly, but you'll have one heat strip stuck on, at least the way that one is set up. Um, if you have, I call those peanut relays. If you have a peanut relay that has five spades, so basically one for the fan, you have a normally closed and a normally open. If the relay sticks, it can cause power to flow through the heat strip and it'll look like you have a stuck relay but it's it looks like you have a stuck sequencer but it's the relay um there's a way you can test to um tell which one it is pretty easily um the small on that one like the blue wire that comes from the hot side of the sequencer when it's energized that goes over to the relay if you ever Put your amp clamp on that and see that it's pulling 20 amps it's the relay it's not the sequencer um because if it's a sequencer the 20 amps is going to be on the um the bigger wire that goes to the heat strips thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you on the next one